Hi there, welcome to Lux Attic. In today's video, in the heart of the Indian Ocean, we are going to be visiting the 20 best hotels and resorts in Mauritius. Mauritius, the place where palm fringe beaches surround an island full of delights, the country where the mesmerizing ocean and world famous coral reefs bury untold secrets, and where an extraordinary adventure awaits you, this is where you will find paradise. Nestled in the Indian Ocean to the east of Madagascar and once home to the now extinct dodo, Mauritius embodies the quintessential tropical island with over 100 miles of shoreline sprinkled with picture-perfect beaches, mild breezes, volcanic peaks and lush vegetation. Jaw-dropping mountain ranges that look like sleeping dragons on the horizon, a vibrant street food culture including a wide variety of cuisines and deep dark forests that hide tumbling waterfalls and exotic wildlife. As Mark Twain once said, Mauritius was made first and then heaven, and that heaven was copied after Mauritius. Well, it seems that many people have visited the region over the centuries. The island was first settled by Arabs in the 10th century, then by the Malay people, and later by the Portuguese. But next, after their colonization effort failed, the Dutch were gave away to the French, who renamed it Ile de France. The British took over following the war and remained in control until the island obtained its independence in 1968. Even though slavery was a hard part of its past, Mauritius is now a very interesting and cosmopolitan place. So why visit Mauritius? Well, to start off with, there are one-of-a-kind beaches. With miles of breathtaking shoreline, in Mauritius you could probably find a spectacular beach wherever you might go. The island's coastlines are known for their unique backgrounds which range from pristine snow white beaches to exciting spots with lots of water based activities and quiet places to relax in nature's embrace. Then there's the vibrant culture. Asia, India, Europe and Africa have all left their mark on the culture and traditions of Mauritius creating a fascinating melting pot and this is one of the island's most alluring qualities seen in temples and cuisine as well as in the language and music. Visiting Mauritius is an endless adventure. It is one of the best places to go if you're seeking the adventure of a lifetime. You can ride the longest zip line in the Indian Ocean, explore the woods and mountains with a guide in search of waterfalls, or take a helicopter ride to enjoy a bird's eye view of an underwater cascade. And aside from the endless adventure, of course, there's the mouth-watering food. The amazing cultural mix that gives Mauritius its vibrant colors has also influenced the island's cuisine. You can see and taste the impact of French, Indian, African and Asian gastronomy everywhere you go, from fine dining establishments to improvised stands on the street. The hardest part will be choosing what to have first because every dish seems delicious. However, be sure to try dalpuri, the national dish of Mauritius, which is a flatbread similar to paratha and loaded with ground yellow split peas, like dal kachori but with a very different flavour profile. The Mauritian chilli paste, Mazavaru, adds a nice kick to the dish, so if you're feeling adventurous, give it a try. And thanks to its long dormant volcanoes, Mauritius's rough and lush interior is blessed by a wealth of spectacular waterfalls. One or two of them are within easy grasp, but for the others you'll have to do a little hiking. Yet every one of them is absolutely stunning and deserving of your time and attention. So, I guess now you're convinced that Mauritius is a place to visit and the first question you're probably asking is where to stay in Mauritius. Different styles of beaches can be found throughout the island. Therefore, when choosing where to stay in Mauritius, you should think about the sites you wish to see, your travel budget and the time of the year. Though it's the most popular spot to hang around on the island, Grand Bay may be too hectic for some of us. In this charming village, you can find every top tier establishment from high-end sports to malls and restaurants, and especially a vibrant nightlife. However, the island provides a myriad of other options. For a family outing, Flick en Flac is unparalleled when it comes to honeymoon destinations. Trois Biche tops the list, but the best beaches are in Belmar. Le Mans is the most luxurious option, and Blue Bay is good for those who need to be close to the airport. So while some people believe the beaches of the Maldives leave in the dust those of Mauritius, the majority of them think that the resorts on both Indian Ocean islands are comparable, with Mauritius frequently being the most affordable option. Therefore, Mauritius is a cyber rights paradise and a popular destination for A-listers because of its abundance of five-star resorts, which have Michelin-starred chefs, designer furniture and golf courses on private islands. 
yes, you will probably have the time of your lifetime here. So put yourself in a vacation state of mind with a tropical drink while we'll show you the 20 best hotels and resorts where you could stay in Mauritius. But once you've found the one, don't delay making your reservation. After all, everyone wants a piece of paradise just as you do. First on our list at number 20, we have Anahita Golf and Spa Resort, Tour de Eau Douce. Anahita is a next generation luxury resort that blends in seamlessly with its natural environment. Large villas with one to five bedrooms, verandas and private pools are available, as are suites with one to three bedrooms, all of which come with their own plunge pool and are among the best options for families on the island. After a meal at one of the hotel's four excellent restaurants or a private chef prepared dinner for two, relax with a drink on the rooftop terrace. Enjoy the pool and private beach area of Ilo Serf, get some exercise with golf, diving and water sports and let the little ones have a good time at the kids club. Next, number 19, Heritage Awali Golf and Spa Resort, Belombre. The Heritage Awali Golf and Spa Resort is perched on 2,500 hectares of verdant hills and right on the turquoise waters of the southwest Indian Ocean making an excellent spot to unwind and experience the local culture of Mauritius. This hotel's elegance is driven by ethnic motifs and traditional African decor, and when combined with the stunning views, it's impossible not to feel at one with the tranquility of the tropical setting. Enjoy the Seven Colours Spa, or get in a workout at the Amuzi Sports Centre after a day of lounging by the pool or swimming in the azure waters. Number 18, Shanti Maurice Resort and Spa, St. Felix. As a species, we rely on our senses for everything. No matter what you like to do for fun, Shanti Maurice Resort and Spa has something for you. Whether it's relaxing on the powder sand beach with a cool cocktail, while the smell of sugarcane fills the air, or eating the freshest food at one of the gourmet restaurants. Lying in the undeveloped Savage South, this all suite and villa hotel is romantic yet relaxed thanks to its tropical gardens and horseshoe shaped cove. This avant garde oasis started out as Shanti Ananda, the island's first destination spa. It now has 61 suites and villas spread out over 36 acres of beachfront and tropical gardens. The Shanti Spa has won a lot of awards and is still one of the biggest in the area. It has 25 private treatment rooms and offers services like africology, acupuncture and yoga, as well as workshops on alternative medicine. At number 17, we have Lux Belmar Resort and Villas Belmar. If you've been dreaming of a relaxing getaway, Lux Belmar is the real deal. Practicing yoga on the beach, getting pampered at the spa and dining at Michelin starred restaurants means just another day in paradise. Thatch roof buildings mark the premises here, giving it a beach home vibe. The hands-on general manager, Ashish Modak, mixes the rum cocktails at the weekly culinary class and the Lutzmi Spa, which was named the island's best in the 2015 Spa Finders Wellness Travel Awards, has a wellness concierge and a team that is truly pleasant to interact with. There is a wide variety of cuisines available at the four restaurants, from Indian and Chinese to international classics and vegan options at each. Number 16, Lux Grand Gorb, Grand Gorb. Set in wonderful tropical gardens, Lux Grand Gorb is surrounded by rolling coves, the calmest of lagoons, and is endowed with two serene beaches and two magnificent swimming pools. This hotel is the best of all worlds and has a laid back vibe, which makes living in a resort better than ever. The pink inflatable flamingo water toys for the lagoon, the hand painted originals of the funny Guzu character by French street artist Chase, and the bright eye catching murals along the beach by Camille Walala all show the creative spirit of Lux. Palm Court's alive cooking stations, INTI's Peruvian and Argentinian fare, Creole smoke houses authentic flavours and Bodrum Blue's Turkish spin on Mediterranean cuisine make for a worldly gastronomic adventure. You can add that to the Beach Rouge Eating Club, the world famous Cafe Lux and a lot of other surprises around every corner. Number 15, Heritage Le Telfair Golf and Wellness Resort, Belombre. Heritage Le Telfair is secluded on the unspoiled south coast of Mauritius within a protected natural reserve. The expansive grounds of the Domaine de Bellon, together with the hotel's well-designed layout, ensure that even at peak times, you don't have to worry about the place being too crowded. 
elegantly remodeled villas are dispersed around lush tropical gardens, providing the feeling of a secluded hamlet. However, the colonial palace from the 19th century connects this modern hideaway to its past when the area was home to the renowned Irish botanist Charles Safair. There are new surprises to uncover every day, from tranquil pools adjacent to the white sand beach to a spa separated off from the rest of the venue by its own private gardens. Then, when the night comes, you can choose from one of the 12 remarkable restaurants. We recommend Heritage Le Chateau for Mauritian haute cuisine. Number 14, Salt of Parma, Belmar. This trendy, adult-only Salt of Parma resort is Mauritius's first eco-hotel, and it's perched on the island's eastern shore. Discover the vibrant decor by French artist Camille Walala, organic meals prepared with ingredients from local farms, a salt therapy room, a rooftop bar, a guided tour of the area, and the opportunity to share expertise with other guests. Food is a fusion of Mauritian, Mediterranean, and Asian flavors, employing ancient cooking techniques such as the smoker, charcoal grill, wok, and tandoor, with vegetarian options on every menu and raw cuisine created by Grace Van Berkham. Through cooking classes, you can learn how to prepare chicken curry, homemade bread, and raw food. Furthermore, if you schedule a fishing excursion, you will have the opportunity to Mauritian style prepare your catch of the day. Number 13, Le Meridien Il Maurice, Point au Piment. The newly renovated Le Meridien Il Maurice is set next to a kilometre long strip of ivory sand, making it second to none for exploring the island's pristine beaches. This high end family hotel was built when tourism was at its peak, and it still has a lot of Mauritius's colourful culture. The tropical theme continues throughout the hotel, from the lobby's framed local artwork to the authentic flavours of Zoli Mamzel, one of the four available dining options. Moreover, the hotel also offers a tour of both North and South Mauritius, as well as a visit to one of the island's most stunning natural attractions, Ilo Serve. Number 12, the residence Mauritius Belmar. Discover the magnificent blend of modernism and traditionalism at the residence Mauritius a treasure of delicate grandeur inspired by past times. Soak up the majesty of this beachside paradise, which is set on a beautiful stretch of snow white sand and is home to warm Mauritian hospitality and exciting adventures. Mixing the island's beauty with urban sophistication, this exquisite resort inspired by the island's period plantation houses offers a true sense of home, wonderful for families and romantic for couples. Soothe your mind and body with a stroll down the mile-long beach, find inner peace at the Sanctuary Spa, cool off in the lagoon-style pool, and enjoy a meal at Alfresco on the beach or poolside, offering breathtaking views over one of the most beautiful areas in Mauritius. Number 11, So Sofitel Mauritius, Belombe. Housed on the rugged south coast of Mauritius, the Sofitel So Mauritius Belombe is a tranquil refuge surrounded by verdant flora and a turquoise lagoon. Conceived by Thai architect Lek Bunag and Japanese couturier Kunzo Takada, this five-star resort is the pinnacle of extravagant flair. Elegantly woven into verdant gardens, each suite and beach villa features a private patio and breathtaking views of the Indian Ocean. At the spa, organic and locally sourced ingredients are used in massages, hammams and open-air plunge pools to give the mind, body and spirit a boost. The open kitchen at La Plage wafts enticing aromas and spices throughout the place while Takamaka Bar serves up fresh fruit smoothies, quality international wines and one-off cocktails. Now, halfway through our list at number 10, we have reached the Oboroi Beach Resort Balaclava. Hopelessly in love, then check into the most romantic resort in Mauritius, which features a strip of sugar white sand, beautiful 20-acre grounds adorned with sculptures and exotic plants, as well as gated pool villas with four-poster beds and deep marble bathtubs. If the term Oberoi usually conjures up images of opulence, prepare to have your perceptions altered. In Mauritius, Thai architect Lek Bunag and the American-born landscape architect Bill Bensley have set up a beach resort a bit more seductive, which is no less luxurious than its counterparts, yet benefits from its environment in ways no urban hotel can. You might easily hole up here for a while as there isn't much that could be improved upon at this place, including the beach, the spa, and the high quality Pan Global restaurant. Thus, it would be unthinkable for the Oberoi group to miss out on this opportunity, given its expertise and service philosophy, as well as the fabulous setting. 
Number nine, JW Marriott Mauritius Resort, Le Mans. This former Sugar Baron's plantation mansion on a coveted stretch of Le Mans is now the JW Marriott Mauritius, having changed hands from St. Regis in the summer of 2021. You can go kite surfing here, as it's one of the best places on the island to do so, or you can relax in the private theatre, the library or the renowned spa. Set against the dramatic backdrop of the towering Le Mans Brabant, which offers a picturesque hiking expedition, guests have quick and simple access to both Dolphin Safari and the neighbouring Black River Gorge National Park. The cuisine at the JW Marriott Mauritius Resort is just as spectacular as the rest of the establishment, and you can expect to try a wide variety of dishes from across the world, including those with a Southeast Asian or Japanese influence, as well as local favourites and Western fare. Number 8. Lux Le Mans, Le Mans. If you're looking for a place to stay in Mauritius that offers more than just sun and sand, go no further than Lux Le Mans. Set on the southwest coast of the island, at the base of the spectacular Le Mans Brabant Peak, the resort's 149 wooden chalet style suites and rooms offer views of one of the area's most beautiful lagoons. The private pristine beach is within walking distance for those who like to lazily idle away the day. Nevertheless, Lux Le Mans Resort also offers services for the adventurer and you. The hotel's concierge can set you up with a day filled with amazing experiences, such as a visit to the Black River Gorges National Park. At the end of the day, relax at the beach and al fresco restaurant and feast on locally caught fish, or head to the east for one of the best king prawn Thai curries in all of Mauritius. For a more exotic dining experience, you can head down to the beach where the resort staff will catch and prepare sea urchins, one of the most cherished delicacies. Now, on to number seven, we have Maradiva Villas Resort & Spa, Flick on Flack. Maradiva, an all-villa resort, is one of the top hotels in Mauritius for those seeking luxury and solitude during a post-pandemic vacation. All six to five villas are a blend of classic and modern design, hidden away in the grounds that run down their coast, with their own private pools, outdoor living areas, and Hermes amenities. However, the resort's centerpiece is the spa, which is a sanctuary of peace and serenity, where you may indulge in calming treatments inspired by the island's natural beauty. In addition to the resort's world-class restaurants, you can also have a private dinner on the beach for a night under the stars that you'll never forget. Number six, Lux Cambé Resort, Cambé. The Lux Cambé Resort in the north of Mauritius is an architectural wonder. Appearing to have been dropped onto a crescent of a beach, experience the enchantment of island life at a seductively leisurely pace at the state-of-the-art boutique hotel. Similar to the beachside community from which it draws its name, the retreat is a lively and fun place to stay. There is simply no better venue to celebrate special occasions, whether it's due to the exceptional dining options or the breathtaking views from the rooftop. This is your chance to seize the moment, don't waste it. Where can you see the most amazing sunset? The resort's rooftop wins by a mile. When the sun paints the sky pink, that's a place where you want to be. Its crowning glory, Bijou, is an outstanding bar, restaurant and swimming pool with a spectacular view of the sky. Number five, one and only Le saint Geran Belmar. Perched on the secluded peninsula in the northeast corner of the island, one and only Le saint Geran is one of the most prestigious addresses in all of Mauritius. The hotel's design is a synthesis of colonial and modern elements with the original 1970s ambience preserved, while also incorporating all the modern conveniences and five-star touches one would expect from a one and only property. While there isn't much to see or do in the immediate area, the resort more than makes up for it with a wide variety of activities for guests of all types to enjoy, such as kayaking through mangroves in search of wildlife, hiking to Tamarind Falls, and even riding Harleys with the resort's general manager. Number four, Royal Palm Beach Combat Luxury, Grand Bay. Just like its name implies, the Royal Palm Beach Combat Luxury Resort exudes an air of royal splendor throughout the entire property. From the pristine beaches to the luxurious accommodations, so even the pickiest guests are always impressed by its timeless elegance and charm. Thatched roofs, open air pillared public spaces, and stunning views across emerald green Grand Bay make this beachfront hotel one of the best in the world. Former presidents, and more recently, Anne Hathaway, who used the place to film scenes for the steamy Hollywood thriller, Serenity, have all called the presidential suite home. The service here is top-notch to the point of being indulgent, with perks like designated sun lounges and waiters who remember your preferences and arrange for tailor-made excursions. 
at La Galette where you may eat breakfast while gazing at dolphins, you can choose from a cold buffet or order a hot dish from the a la carte menu. At number three, we find ourselves at Four Seasons Resort Mauritius at Anahita Trudeau. Sitting on its own lagoon, the 64-acre Four Seasons Resort Mauritius offers visitors the chance to relax or explore as much as they desire during their stay on the island's eastern coast. Unwind on the picturesque drive to the resort and soak in the mind-boggling views of the surrounding mountains before being greeted with a warm welcome and a luscious cocktail. As a finishing touch, the resort provides each visitor with a bicycle, creating a more village-like atmosphere, yet a club car is always just a few minutes away. There are three dining options on site, from sophisticated French cuisine to toes in the San Mauritian fare, and cooking workshops are also available so that you may take the island's flavours back with you. Moreover, the Four Seasons world-class service is now available on the new exclusive beach on Ilo Serre, where you may pass away your afternoons at the rustic beach bar. Nevertheless, one of the most eye-catching parts of the resort is the spa, which is built on wooden pillars above the Indian Ocean. Number two, we have Constance, Prince Maurice, Belmar. Tucked away on the northeast coast between a lake and a lagoon, Constance, Prince Maurice is a tranquil haven developed exclusively for couples. Every part of the resort, from the lush tropical gardens to the villas on stilts that look out over the calm blue lagoon and the beaches with impossible looking white sand, adds to its natural charm. Moreover, here you'll find the largest wine cellar in the Indian Ocean, as well as the only floating restaurant in all of Mauritius, which provides jaw-dropping vistas of the natural reserve. It is a one-of-a-kind place to enjoy the famous sorbet-coloured sunset of the island while treating yourself to some fresh seafood. Do you usually enjoy curling up with an interesting book when you're on vacation? If so, choosing the Constance de Prince Maurice Resort could be just the literary ticket. Why? Well, because here you might find an extensive library from which you can pick whatever book you wish. And top of our list, at number one, we chose Shangri-La Letus Rock Resort and Spa Trudeau. The Shangri-La Letus Rock Resort and Spa, lying on the east side of the island with views of Trudeau Douce Bay, evokes images of secluded islets with powdery white sand beaches and azure waters, perfect for a remote island getaway. This high-end hotel has been around for about 40 years, so it's not a newcomer to the luxury resort market in Mauritius. However, its legendary status has only grown since Shangri-La took over in 2015. Even though many of the rooms have been updated, the three-bedroom beach villas are still at the height of luxury and grandeur. The mesmerising cultural diversity of Mauritius is reflected in the resort's vibrant dining venues, such as the renowned Indian restaurant Saffron and the rum and tiki bar Sega, which has live reggae, jazz and blues. Indulge in a true castaway experience on Ilion Manjenier, a private island accessible only to guests of Shangri-La, where you may lounge in the sand by the Indian Ocean and feast on freshly caught fish with your toes in the sand. So now that we've come to the end of our list, all we would like you to do is imagine a tropical island with white sand beaches, waving palm trees and clear warm waters and you've probably got someone's image of heaven pretty close to the mark. Without a shadow of a doubt, Mauritius satisfies each of these criteria. When you factor in the island's many five-star resorts, it surpasses any other beach escape. If you visited any of the locations mentioned in the video, don't forget to let us know down in the comments and we look forward to seeing you next time.